Come in. So in this video, we're gonna show you what you would typically find in a hotel room in Germany. Obviously, this is gonna depend on the hotel and region of Germany you're staying in. However, a lot of these things that we're gonna talk about are typical and one might say standard to a German hotel experience. All right, first, one of the most important things, we're gonna start with the bed. Ah, time for bed. So one thing that is very common with the beds here is that you get two blankets. Not one big blanket, but two separate blankets. I think that is very essential to a good night of sleep or any good type of relationship as well. Because you can't have enough blankets. Am I right, Schmo? And very importantly, if I can show you here, these are actual duvet covers. Like the blanket is in there. Not like in the US where you have this weird thin sheets and then just some weird blanket on top of it that never gets washed. These are fully covered. You can move them around like you want. It's not gonna come out. And I think that is so much nicer than these weird sheets that are in a lot of countries over the world, to be honest. Honestly, when Phil and I first met, we were traveling around Southeast Asia and I laughed a bit because I thought he was a little high maintenance. Everywhere we went, he always requested an extra blanket. It was a little funny at first, but I completely agree now. We need our own blankets to sleep. <laughs> also, side sleep pillows are amazing, and the best one is just an additional blanket. Be like this. It's perfect. He has his own body That's body That's what pillow. the extra blanket is for. <laughs> exactly. And we've even traveled around different areas of Europe, like Spain and Greece, and an extra blanket is not standard. They've even charged us when Phil requests an extra blanket. So it's not standard across Europe, but in Germany, it seems like the norm. It's no problem. All right, next thing in a German hotel room is about Lüften. There's a word Lüften in German, which basically means air out a room. And it refers to the German windows, which we have here. We move that to the side. That's our nice courtyard view. I see wow, that for the first time. Beautiful. German windows are usually different than the ones in the US. And in a hotel room, you can usually not open it all the way, but what you can do is you can angle it like this. Wow, let and that air in. You get the actual fresh air in, which is very important because in a lot of German hotel rooms, the AC also sucks. Yeah, but I think in Germany, it doesn't matter if it's super cold outside or if it's really hot. People just like to let some fresh air into their rooms. Yes, it's my parents' favorite hobby. <laughs> It really is. But yeah, this isn't standard in the US. I think sometimes in US hotels, you can't even open the windows. They won't let you, even though they don't open like this. It's just an up yeah. and down slide. Another thing I want to quickly mention is the mini bar. And the mini bar is not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, often in newer hotel rooms, we don't have mini bars anymore. I think it might have been a thing from the past. I'm not sure. Let me know. Or expensive hotels. Probably more expensive yeah. hotels. This one, by the way, is around 50 euros per night. But what they often have is this kind of thing. You get a little kettle so you can boil water. You have two clean glasses, two coffee cups, and then you get some uh, instant coffee, a little bit of tea, milk, sugar, some sweetener to make a little coffee. That's all there is. No mini bar though. Next thing that is very common in Germany in the bathrooms is you'll have a walk-in shower. So here we are, we have a nice shower. You can walk into it. We traveled a lot in the US and I grew up in the US and a lot of the hotels have a tub that you walk into and step into. And this can be from a one star to a four star hotel. It'll still have this tub that you step into. I hate them. Yeah, but in Germany, this is pretty standard for hostels and hotel rooms that you'll have the walk-in showers. Sometimes they'll be half the size, so it'll be pretty tight. You have to be a skinny mini to shower in some of them, but you'll rarely ever see a tub in Germany unless it's like these super expensive hotels that are like a tub spa thing. But honestly, I probably would never take a bath in some of the hotels in the US, so I don't mind the stand-up shower thing. That's true. The bathrooms, bathtubs in these hotel rooms in the US, they are a little bit on the gross side. And yeah. uh, I want to know, has anybody ever taken a bath in an actual bathtub in one of these cheap two-star hotel rooms or motels even, they have the bathtubs? Ooh. Yeah, I think it definitely depends on how much the hotel costs on whether I would take a bath in it or not. Oh yeah, if it's like a thousand dollar per night, uh, five star. Then I'm sleeping in the bathtub. Dubai, then yeah, I'm spending all day in that bathtub. <laughs> One thing I want to mention here is the shower head situation. Because in Germany, that's very different. In the US, you always have these fixed shower heads in the hotels. But very common in Germany is this kind, like with the hose. And it's so much more flexible. You can shower normally, you can do it 
under there and then down here very important to clean that area too and it just makes it so much easier i think this is way better you can get closer and whatever and this one is actually on the fancier side it has the second one the overhead one both, here the attached and the detachable yeah and the the attached one is coming from above like this this waterfall shower thing i really prefer the hose the long hose that's what i prefer by the way guys if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to further support us you can do that at patreon.com slash and today we want to thank our family member Patreons. So big, big thank you to Marcus Ottensman, Fred42, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kafner, Hessen Metro, Char Mills, Tarek Malkosch, Stephanie Wendt, Jörg Michels, Megan Rosati, Shannon Bradley, Sean and Alex, Klaus Eisert, Holden Gilbert, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, and Roger Lübke. Big, big thank you to you guys. But now back to the video. All right, so elevators are not always guaranteed in Germany, and if they are, they tend to be very small and tiny. Uh, however, if you do get an elevator, you'll notice the buttons and the numbers are probably different. The ground floor is zero or Erdgeschoss, e.g. And then you'll notice that what we're used to as the second floor is the first floor in Germany, and then so on. Like you can see here reception zero and then the room numbers are usually according to the floor they're on so the floor differences are not dependent on the elevator if you have stairs this will be the same so just know if you're on the second floor in germany that's going to be the third floor in the us yeah not all hotels have them but most do and now it's time to go to breakfast <laughs> Guten Morgen! So, we're drinking coffee. <laughs> it's the morning time and breakfast is a very important part of the German meal. Oh yeah, they love it. So a lot of the hotels will offer breakfast included or they will have it for extra and it's heavily advertised. I feel like every time I go onto a website for a hotel or a Airbnb or a bed and breakfast in Germany, they're always like, we have Frühstück. We have yeah. it too, we have it all. And a lot of the typical stuff you'll see, definitely the egg. I feel like that's a masa hard-boiled egg and you eat it differently than I'm used to. You got a lot of bread, fresh bread. That's a thing. We have actually baked beans, which isn't very German. It's more uh, English, but we're in Berlin, so there's a lot of international people here. Yeah, I actually grabbed the like UK version, um, but another very common thing in Germany is a cereal station. But I'm not a big cereal person, Diana neither, with the milk and stuff, but cereal, half a flock in oats and milk stuff, very common as well. But the cereal is very normal in the US. You'll have that on most breakfast hotels. What are you building there, Tiger? I made a sandwich. We never eat breakfast, but if we're going to eat breakfast, I'm getting my money's worth. Okay. You ready for the egg drop? There we go. Wow. It's not German at all. Okay, our last point is going to be cheaper for better quality. Now, before I get into this one, I want to say it really depends on the hotel chain and where you're staying in Germany. Some of the older, more authentic German inns and hotels can be a little dated and they sell it as a nice authentic experience, but then you're staying in something yeah. from the 80s. However, like the more standard ones, the more modern ones, if you're comparing hotel chain to hotel chain in the US, it tends to be nicer and cheaper yeah, here. Like this one. This one. I don't know if we mentioned this is 50 euros a night and uh it's pretty comfortable and cheaper than a lot of the hotels we stayed in in the u.s yeah i think uh, the experience that i made in the u.s just confirmed that big time um there are crappy hotels like you said old ones here too but when we traveled around in the u.s we stayed at these two-star motel hotels or one star even whatever for like 80 to 150 dollars per night there was just nothing cheaper that you wanted to set foot in yeah. and they were crap compared to this yeah so oh my god hotels expensive in the u.s just traveling around and staying somewhere decently is unaffordable for us and these 80 to 100 dollar ones that's like pretty bad i don't understand why hotels and motels are so expensive in the u.s it's crazy yeah everything it gets so expensive yeah so those were the things that you can expect from a hotel here in germany let us know in the comments below if this is what you expected or if you have been here that is what you experienced and how it differs to your country yeah as always thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye bye, bye. A special thank you to our Patreons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!